The Northern Elders Forum has reviewed events and tendencies which suggest that the country is headed for more crises. Nigerians live in fear of violence today and in fear of an uncertain future. The capacity of the Nigerian state to secure citizens, protect the country's territorial integrity, and resist violent assaults on our unity is weakening to levels of making threats that have no impact. Armed criminals of all types have increased their audacious stranglehold over our lives in all parts of the country. Irredentists are increasingly asserting their influence over in the southeast and some parts of the country, and in the manner that millions of Nigerians now live. Rhetorics from political leaders and ethnic champions who speak in threats and demands routinely suggest that the sentiments in support of irredentism are becoming more widespread. All Nigerians are paying the price of failure of two sets of leaders. At the national level, the administration appears to have lost the capacity to hold the gradual descent of the country into anarchy. Political leaders in the Southeast appear to have submitted to violence and terror of IPOB and ESN. Muted voices of millions of Igbo cannot be heard so that Nigerians can understand the degree to which secession by the Igbo represents their popular choice. Nigeria has had to fight two terrible wars to preserve, a terrible war to preserve the country. The North has paid its dues in that war, and indeed in many ways throughout the history of our country. Under our current circumstances, no Nigerian should welcome another war to keep this country together. The North in particular has more than enough challenges, and we recognize that violent secession by any part of Nigeria will compound the problems of all Nigerians under which we live. The forum has arrived at the difficult conclusion that if support for secession among the Igbo is as widespread as it is being made to look, and Igbo leadership appears to be in support of it, then the country should be advised not to stand in its way. It will not be in the interest, it will not be the best choice for the Igbo or Nigerians to leave a country we have all toiled to build and a country we all have responsibility to fix. But it will not help a country already burdened with failures on its knees to fight another war to keep the Igbo in Nigeria. This forum insists that attacks and killings of northerners and federal, and federal government employees and destruction of national assets must stop. Those who have been involved in it must be arrested and prosecuted. Until the Igbo decide whether it wants to secede or remain part of Nigeria, the law applies to it, and the federal and state governments who have responsibility to enforce the law and protect citizens must enforce it. We support calls for northerners who are exposed to harassment and violence to consider relocating to the north. Unlike the postures and complacency of the leaders of the southeast, we advise that all Igbo and other ethnic groups from the south residing in the north should be accorded the usual hospitality and security. The forum believes that it is vital to address amendments to the Constitution and achieve major changes in the structure and operations of our federal system now. Members of the National Assembly elected by Nigerians have lost touch with the people they are supposed to represent. This explains the major distances which exist between the people and the vital national institution which should play a major role in mitigating national crises. The National Assembly should explore additional avenues for tapping into opinions that can help redress serious limitations to the federal system before the 2023 elections. The North is willing to discuss all matters related to constitutional amendments and restructuring 
with the leadership of the country and other groups who see their presence in the future of Nigeria. Thank you. It is in the statement about the restructuring of the country. The North supports the restructuring of the country and believes that groups like ours should get together. If the government would not facilitate a meeting of, northern, of, of groups, if the avenue provided by the National Assembly is too inadequate, and we believe it is inadequate, there is nothing stopping Nigerians from organizing their own dialogue and making sure that it enters into the constitutional channels that are available. We believe that they, we should do this. Because a lot of Nigerians believe that the exercise just concluded by the National Assembly was insufficient. The quality of representations made there do not reflect what Nigerians really need. We are willing to talk to the National Assembly because we recognize the fact that under the law they are the only body that has the power to amend the constitution. We are willing to we discuss with them. There are other groups that are willing to do so. That's why in our statement we said they should expand their avenue. They should expand the opportunity for groups to talk to them. Are you uh, calling for another national conference? We are not asking. There are many, many ways in which you can get Nigerians to talk, raise issues of quality, raise issues of substance. I don't want to label it. All I'm saying is that a government must reach out to, a, to, to communities that can make meaningful inputs into the way it is done. And those communities have a responsibility to knock on the doors of government, executive, national assembly. Right now, there hasn't been that that uh, contact and it should be established. That's why in our statement we said we are willing to talk with groups and we are willing to talk with government because there are issues that we believe need to be said but they have not provided the right forum. So what's the forum's um, stance on the imminent um, scarcity of onion? The organization has said they are going to stop. Uh, the, on the issue about onion is a symptom of a deeper problem. When people don't feel safe and secure to sell anything, they will not sell it. Let's bring peace and security to people who transport essential food to the south southeast. And you will see onions, you will see cattle. But if you create an environment which is unsafe for people, that's what you see. Okay, so, so in, in a nutshell, they're not in support of the secession by the people. We are not in support of a secession by anybody. We said if secession is what every Igbo wants, and this is what the Igbos want, and the nation should not fight a war over it. And we said if, if every Igbo supports secession, if the leaders support secession, then the nation should not fight another war. But That's what we said. In the face of this secessionist agitation, do you support the call for referendum? Do I support what? The call for referendum. <laughs> the issue about referendum is not in our constitution. Those who want a referendum in the constitution should converse for the inclusion of referenda in the constitution.